Assembly of the United Nations adopted and proclaimed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights to prevent the horrors of the concentration camps of World War II from being repeated. Only by recognizing every human's fundamental rights without concession could there be any chance of an end to similar tragedies. Thus, the UN declared that respect and dignity for human beings are the foundations for freedom, justice, and peace in the world. In 1970, 22 years after the Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations, the term speciesism was coined to describe the discrimination of sentient beings because of the species they belong to. Similar to racism or sexism, speciesism has no justification. However, we are still living in a speciesist society. In every corner of the world, other animals are considered property and their interests have no value. Living machines because their needs are irrelevant. Toys because entertainment is more profitable than their well-being. The value of their lives depends on their market price. Although we can hardly bear it ourselves, we have gathered here today to show society the consequences of speciesism. Each and every one of these bodies was once an animal like us. These animals just wanted to live their lives, but speciesism didn't allow it. The discrimination they suffered because they weren't born humans didn't allow it. We are here today in deep sorrow, mourning all of them. For all the animals waiting for their turn in the slaughterhouses, for all animals in labs, for all those in circuses, zoos, aquariums, and marine parks, for the ones that suffocate in the fishing nets, but we are here also filled with hope. Hope to see how many more people become aware that there is no need to live off the lives of other animals. That there is an alternative. That the animal rights movement is a movement not only legitimate but necessary if we want to live in peace with others on this planet. Our hope grows as we see more and more people choosing to live a vegan lifestyle and how more and more people decide, as you all have here today, to become animal rights activists. Some of these animals come from farms, slaughterhouses, and other places of animal exploitation. But today, I want to bring you a message of hope. I know it's hard because you are holding victims invisible to society, but whom you recognize and embrace. Hope because you are part of a social movement, new but strong, revolutionary, that wants justice for the defenseless. Hope, because hearts like yours will bring the revolution of animal rights to the world. Hope that the activism of brave people here will make history. Fill your heart with hope while you hold the bodies of these animals, while you hold the images of the forgotten victims, and think of a better world. Never fear. You are part of the most altruistic social struggle in history. You are the seed for a better world. You are the hope, the only hope for millions of animals. Raise your head up proudly and say, I am part of the animal rights movement. For them, for the animals, for a better world towards veganism and an end to speciesism.
now going to bring information and we're going to head towards the park and enjoy some of the beautiful.